Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. So I have an update review for you on the Eachine SS Series 125 amp ESC. Now I did an initial review on this thing after having a few runs and things seemed to be smooth and working good and I recommended this thing. And um, you know, the only time you usually see update reviews out of me is if something goes wrong generally, right? Well, stuff did go wrong. I cupped my original first 125 amp ESC. It was kind of glitter, glitchy to begin with, so I kind of figured something might go wrong. And sure enough it did, so I threw me in my other brand new one that I had as a spare. Good thing I bought two. And that's this one here, which it did okay for a few runs and no glitches. Um, and it still hasn't glitched out on me, but it did split the casing. My boat that I have is an HK Genesis 41-inch uh, catamaran. And uh, it's running the stock motor, which only draws 100 amps at full throttle. So this ESC should more than do, right? Because the burst rate is, um, it's, it's up there. It's over 500 amps. Uh, the specs are on Banggood's website, but I may throw it in there on the video. We'll see. Either way, I got several hundred amps on the burst rate. So if I go full throttle, you know, I should go easy 10 seconds without a problem. Um, but I mean, ten, I can't even hold it for 10 seconds. I mean, the boat would be on the other side of the lake, so I don't even get to pin it that long. So I'm really not working the ESC that hard, right? And, uh, oh, there's my battery. It's finished charging. So, um, anyhow, so this one's starting to split. So, I don't know. I, I, I can't say that these are going to be a good ESC if your motor wants 100 amps, because I really... I, I'm doubting these things are even 125 amps. You know, there's 25 amps in reserve, and, you know, it should be more than enough, and they're getting hot enough to melt the silicone, or not the silicone, sorry, but the uh, shrink tubing. And this stuff's actually fairly thick, too. It takes a lot of heat to actually make it split apart and make holes. And uh, my cooling system is fine, you know, because I did have a, uh, what I, I thought there would have been a cooling leak, and it turned out the water got in from somewhere else wasn't my cooling system so that was fine I'm getting plenty of cooling um, and the ESC is the first on the chain to, to receive water and then my motor is secondary my motor is running like pff, maybe lukewarm if that you know so my motor temps aren't aren't up high and I'm not running big props I'm running 40 millimeter props which the stock prop uh, is a plastic prop uh, that came with the boat originally and it's fine and the 1.6 prop I have for pitch uh, It's an aluminum prop that actually creates um, Less torque and more speed depending on your battery configuration But I'm also only running 4s on these things because I don't need, I, I've been wanting to try 6s But I don't have any 3s batteries for that right now. So I've been running just 4s and uh, 4s should be fine because these are supposed to be 2 to 7s and uh, 2S, no, they don't program for that. And uh, the 125 amp ESCs, by the way, do not have reverse, okay? Um, I just finished doing a review on the 200 amp. Um, Banggood actually sent me a 200 amp to do a review on for them. And that's supposed to have reverse, didn't have reverse. And that thing is now, after only two runs, um, has decided that it's going to split the casing uh, from overheat. And... Uh, you know, my motor temp was barely even warm, you know, so I know it's not a cooling issue on my part anyway, um, but uh, it's the amperage thing though, you know, I mean, these things are not putting out the amps, because if they were putting out proper amperage, they wouldn't be getting as hot as they are, even with the cooling system that they do have on them, and the cooling block, I actually have one here, I can show you. This is the big cooling block that's actually off one of these because I saved my cooling block from my other 125, you know. And that sits on the bottom, you know, and uh, that should be more than sufficient. But guess not, even with oversized hoses, guess not. So what, what's the bottom line here, Kev? Okay, the bottom line I'm going to tell you guys is this. I originally gave it, I think it was like three and three quarter or something like that. Forget about that, okay? Here's what we're going to do. If you have a boat, okay, and I will be uh, mentioning this as well uh, in my other video, but if you have a boat that has a, a motor that draws 100 amps, don't buy these things. They're not going to last long, okay? If you're 
engine draws 40 amps or 50 amps, you might be okay. Can't swear to it. Take your chances. I mean, this thing was under 40 bucks for the 125. Now the 200 is like 40 something. Now that's Canadian dollars too, okay? So it's up to you if you want to take a chance on them. And this one is still running. My 200 amp still runs. Uh, but after today's, you know, mess with that one, I'm not even going to put it back into my into this boat anyways. I'll maybe save it for, you know, a smaller boat down the road. If I get a smaller boat or I decide to build a small boat. Because I actually have a project in mind for building a small rescue boat or something. Uh, so, and I have motors and all that jazz already for it. So, but uh, that's where we're at with this. So, that's why you're getting an update review. So, um, as far as using this with, uh, like, an HK Genesis boat with a stock motor not going to recommend it whatsoever okay it's a fail um but like i said 40 50 amp uh motor draw you know maximum draw uh i would probably say you might be okay but these things certainly like i said they're not putting out what they they say they they are so but uh that's just the way it goes anyways um that's it and that's all have a good day